good afternoon students our next topic is again a short story short story written by ernest hemingway the name of the story is a day's wait a day's wait this is a short story written by ernest hemingway ernest hemingway was a lover of animals every time in his short stories he likes to mention some or other animals here also in the story he has mentioned about few such animals moreover this story is related to the misconception of a young chap a young boy and due to this misconception how he he binds himself and is not getting well a day's wait it is all about a single day and he is waiting since the morning for one such thing which is never going to happen or occur this presentation i have tried to make it more interesting using certain characters using certain uh comic uh pictures let us see what we can a day's wait these are the this picture actually shows the whole story here in this picture can you see a a, bo a boy sleeping in the bed that little boy is shots s c h a t z the name is shots shots is the young boy and he is ill he is suffering from a simple a very normal influenza virus which we can call it as flu why it is flu because it is usually during the winters when you are getting this virus spreading on an epidemic level this picture again shows one diagram of a skeleton can you see this skeleton why skeleton because this young chap you know is waiting for let us see in the next part he let us see this he came into the room to shut the windows while we were still in bed to shut the windows can you see the little boy shutting the windows and i saw he looked ill he was shivering his face was white and he walked slowly as though it ached to move aching is to have pain he was shivering his face was white and he walked slowly what what what's the matter shots can you see the punctuation marks we have earlier earlier learned in dialogues how you can use a punctuation mark i have got a headache head is aching my head is paining this is about the punctuation marks can you see that little boy shutting down the windows he is not well he is looking ill and only answer which he is giving is i'm just having a headache you would better go to bed no i'm all right you go to bed i'll see you when i'm dressed this is what the father tells to the son you better go to bed go back to bed while as you are ill you are not looking you are not feeling good let us you please go and sleep but the boy resist saying no i'm fine i'm all right he doesn't want to sleep on bed you go to bed i will see you when i'm dressed what is being dressed when he is uh, done from uh, his through through his all routine work and he is uh, again dressed but when i came downstairs he was dressed sitting by the fire looking very sick and miserable boy of 9 years the picture shows a father and a son and the fireplace where where they are sitting when i put my hand on his forehead i knew he had a fever now what is the father suggesting him to sleep but is the boy believing in him is he listening to him no as all 9 year old kids he is also not listening to the parents and he is still sitting downstairs you go 
up to bed i said you are sick now there is a demanding and addressing tone coming ordering tone the father says you go up to the bed you are sick i am all right he said when the doctor came he took the boy's temperature by taking temperature you come to know how much is the fever what is it i asked him 102 the doctor announced now this is the temperature 102 degree fahrenheit temperature right this is the temperature told by doctor the doctor can you see in the picture doctor has come has taken the uh, uh temperature now what does the doctor do downstairs the doctor left three different medicines in three different colored capsules the three different capsules are there very important line can you please underline because this line will be helping you out when you are writing down the question answers you have been asked why you are given the three different capsules these three different capsules are for three different modes of curing the disease one was to bring down fever the first capsule is about to bring down the fever another a purgative what is a purgative whenever you are giving any capsule the purgative one is to uh, lower down your abdominal the bowel you are having a vomiting sensation to lower down that you are given a purgative and the third one to overcome an acid condition now it is vividly described how these three medicines are given the germs of influenza can only exist in an acid condition he explained he had got influenza virus now this flu only occurs when you are having certain um level of virus spread throughout the country the city right it not doctor is very much uh, aware about the things why he is very much aware because he is having now and then the cases of influenza and thus he explains that this influenza virus can be cured only if the acid condition is overcome because it can exist only in an acidic condition he seemed to know all about influenza and said there was nothing to worry about the fever did not go above if the fever did not go above 100 and 4 degrees this was a light epidemic of flu and there was no danger if you avoided pneumonia p n e u m o n i a that is pneumonia here p is silent now as i told you doctor is very very intelligent why because now and then there are many cases of influenza what is epidemic a large scale spread of disease a large scale spread of disease a single disease is called as epidemic and as you can see it was an epidemic of flu therefore he is saying that if you avoided uh, pneumonia and if the temperature does not rise above 104 degrees there is nothing to worry whenever you are affected infected by a viral infection you always know that you are going to have a high temperature why is this high temperature required students this high temperature is required to to what to lower down the uh, infected virus inside your body chalo back in the room i wrote the boy's temperature down and made a note of the time to give the various capsules kab dena hai he made a note of it can you see the temperature thermometer yes and do you want me to read to you this is the question asked by father all right if you want to said the boy what is the boy doing he is not interested what does he say if you want then please read it to me i don't require something like that the meaning of the sentence is if you want you read it to me if you don't i don't have any problem his face was very white and there were dark areas under his eyes he lay still in the bed and seemed very detached from what was going on now early in the morning when he was told to go to bed he did not go to the bed he was shutting down the windows 
He was dressed up, sitting by the fireside, and did not listen to his parents. Now what has happened to him? When the father is asking to read something to him, he is not interested. His face is very white. There are dark areas under his eyes, and he is laying still in the bed. He is not moving. He is not attached with what is happening inside the room. He feels he is somewhere away from everything. He has detached himself from what was going on. Why so? Can you see the little uh, boy sitting and uh, sitting with his father, and the father is reading aloud. What is the father reading aloud? I read aloud. I read aloud from Howard Pyle's Book of Pirates. Howard Pyle, another very good author, and he's written Book of Pirates. Usually, you know, small kids they love to have some adventure stories to be listened, right? So students like um, the young kids and all they have been told stories of pirates and all those who are having adventurous mood but i could see he was not following what i was reading right how do you feel shots i asked him just the same so far he said i sat at the foot of the bed and read it to myself while i waited for waited for it to be, be the time to give her the capsule what was he reading the book of pirates whenever he asked him how do you feel shots he said just the same no improvement i am feeling the same i sat at the foot of the bed and read to myself while i waited it to be a be time to give another capsule why read to myself because he was knowing that shots is not paying attention to whatever was been told it would have been natural for him to go to sleep but why when i looked up he was looking at the foot of the bed looking very strangely sometimes it happens you know while you are sick you feel feel, uh, feel like sleeping you are not feeling to uh, be um, very active and thus being very dull you love to sleep why don't you try to go to sleep instead of sleeping some strangely how strangely he was just um, staring down at the foot i'll wake you up for the medicine the father suggests why don't you sleep you take some rest you will feel better and whenever is the time whenever it is the time of medicine i will give it to you you don't need to worry about the timings of the medicine but the answer comes is i would rather stay awake after a while he said to me you don't after a while he said to me you don't have to stay in with here with me papa if it bothers you somehow he feels that he is waiting for something and due to him his father is also being uh, say disturbed or harassed so he says to his father please papa if you do not want to sit here you are not required it is okay you if it bothers you please don't it doesn't bother me no i mean you don't have to say if it is going to bother you again his insisting on nothing but botheration of his father he feels that due to him everyone is being disturbed everyone is having pains and then due to him they have to uh, get bothered i thought perhaps he was a little light headed and after giving him the prescribed capsules at 11 o'clock i went out for a while what is being light headed being light headed meaning means that now he might be sleeping he is now feeling dizzy and being ha- having a light head he might be sleeping for a while it was a bright cold day the ground was covered with a sleet and had frozen so that it seemed as if all the bare trees the bushes the cut brush uh, brush and all grass and the bare ground had been varnished with ice please listen in our textbook some part of the story is not given because it is not required here i have included the same part also just to have a connection of the story this part is might it might not be there in your textbook but i have just included here to give you an extra information about the story it was a bright cold day can you see in the picture 
uh, it has been shown this is all grass uh, I mean this is all glass glass why because it is all frozen and the brush, bush, uh, the bushes and the cut brush and all the grass everything you can see this the trees everything are covered with ice they are varnished with ice ice is covered all around people are having so much of fun using uh, skiing on ice and all can you see this now i took the young irish setter for a little walk up the road what is an irish setter can you see in the picture this is a dog not the irish setter but this is a dog and irish setter is a dog having red fur so it is a dog usually used when you are uh, taking the sledge or it is used for conveyance are you getting it for transport so that is an irish setter a pet dog and he wanted the irish setter the young irish setter to go on a walk where on a frozen creek creek is a place it is a place between the two mountains and it is a creek a uh, sort of a um, uh, frozen sea that's a creek okay so but it was difficult to stand or walk on the glassy surface and the red dog slipped and slithered and i fell twice you know why he fell twice because he was catching all of the young irish setter and he could not walk properly due to all ice covered when it is covered with ice the surface becomes more smooth and due to less amount of friction people get slipped very easily once dropping my gun and give it having it slide away over the ice now here <coughs> the author is telling that father had gone on on hunting on shooting shooting what let me see <coughs> 